Rob's child. Nothing I say is investment advice. Welcome to the show where we view financial markets through crystal ball gazing. JP Morgan once said millionaires don't need astrologers, but billionaires do. And so we begin. Today is Friday, May 24th, 2024. We had some data coming out today. Nothing that I was all very concerned about. It seems like the markets and myself agree that like you know the the feel to everything right now reminds me of a scene in South Park I think where Cartman has a stick and is poking a dead animal and and saying come on do something do something that's kind of what I'm uh, getting from how uh, things are feeling today I'll say this ad nauseum, I think we're at the top here, and you know, the chart doesn't disagree with that view, at least a weekly, on a weekly time frame uh, of the S&P 500. This is a bar chart of every candle here represents one week, which is significant. And you know, this is a doji pattern at the very top, and so this this can easily be a reversal signal. Oftentimes this is how a market tops out is you have a long tail on the top, long tail on the bottom, and you know the opening and closing is basically completely flat. You know, with that said, you know, all the way back in February, uh, beginning of March, we saw a similar looking pattern, right? You're going straight up and then we have this little this doji here and it you know it turned into Okay, going up, going down, and then going even higher. And so this is certainly not uh, guaranteeing that it's going to be falling over here, but it, you know, it, it helps the bear case. From a daily perspective, this is the S&P 500. There were a lot of these going through a lot of indices today. We call these inside days. I'm interpreting this as this red as being inside of this red candle as uh, being bearish, a con, you know, a continuation pattern. Usually, you want to see, um, you know, this after a you know a drop from further up, and then you see the big red candle followed by an inside day. That's a little bit more of a stronger indication of it falling over. But you know, generally speaking, yeah, markets were flat today I mean this obviously this has a lot to do with Memorial Day weekend you know a lot of traders uh, actually you know closed their books or whatever uh, yesterday and are like okay I'm done uh, you know we'll come back on Tuesday or Wednesday you know however much time they take off and so you know this is partly a result of that just another example of an inside day today on the triple Q's and the NASDAQ we also saw that you know I think it's funny uh, if you go on CNBC the the headline across the top says you know new all-time closing high on the NASDAQ and yeah uh, officially that is correct but you know it being inside of the previous day's large red candle does not it should not give one very much confidence that this is going to be continuing higher. It can continue higher. After all, you know, the prices of anything is not a weighing machine. It is a voting machine. Whatever people want to pay more for, they'll pay more for until they run out of money, until, um, you know, things, until people wake up to the reality of, you know, what the value you know what reasonable values of securities should be i mean that's that's where my head is still at the moment looking on to the fear and greed index on cnn basically neutral as i've been saying you know i'm 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 really like neutral myself i'm really waiting for this bce data coming out uh, at the end of next week and it it being you know the time where we're going into summer sell in May and go away you know this is unfortunately the time where markets tend to get very very boring um, can we see a giant market collapse over the summer yeah we could um, you know the, the big thing for me is unemployment numbers you know that that's the one big chart that's the first thing that I want to like see 
if that we are at 3.9 percent and we've been trending up if this continues to go up or all of a sudden surprises us and pops up in one of these reports that's when i think it'll be time to run for the hills and you know either that or you know high yield corporate if that starts showing some real true weakness breaking down uh that's another sign for running for the hills but for now you know markets are allowed to melt up for the moment and and that's it have a wonderful memorial day weekend everyone hope you enjoyed thank you for watching and see you next time rob's child Thank <laughs> you.